I don't know if I've got enough battery to record this, but I'll just quickly try. Good afternoon, everybody. How are you all? I am feeling really special today. I had a phone call this morning from the guys that are dealing with my Barclays debt, which was about a grand. They offered me a final payment of half the amount. So I paid 500 and something today. So that's one of my debts ticked off. I have one less. It does mean my credit file is marked with a partially satisfied notice. It will be on there for six years, but that is fine because my credit file is fucked anyway due to all of my debts and things that were going on. So I don't imagine I'm going to be able to get credit anytime soon within the next six years. So there we go. That's what I've done. I don't know if it's the right step, but it feels like a good step because it's one less debt off my mind. Looking cool, Al. Looking cool. Oops. It's one of those bizarre days when you end up at a fate for some reason. I'm at a fate and I've had two hours sleep because this monster kept me awake all night. And I'm currently looking at some ponies while someone beats a tractor horn or someone plays guitar with loop pedals. <laughs> Good afternoon everybody. It has been a while since I have done a... Shut up Popeye. It has been a while since I have done a video and I am a bit sorry about that. But not very sorry about it because I've been a bit sort of stressed out. Uh, my job basically because I have had to, not had to, but I have applied for the management position at my work as my current manager is going to leave at the end of the month. So I'm a little bit nervous about if I'm going to get the job, if I'm going to get asked for an interview, if I'm going to get asked any of those things, which is all quite possible that I will, all quite possible that I won't. Being there puts me in good stead for getting the position, but it's not a guaranteed, it's not a sure shot. I've got this awful spot on the side of my nose, that's good. What else have I done? Okay, so yeah, I told you that I paid off one of my debts. Today's Tuesday, by the way, everybody. Monday, I just had work which was okay. Went for an awesome walk after work with Beanie and the baby and the dogs. Sunday, Dad came over and saw us all. It was nice seeing him as I hadn't seen him for a couple of weeks. The rest of the family had seen him, but because I've been at work, I hadn't seen him. Managed to catch up with him and hang out, even though on that day, I really did not want to speak to anybody. So I think I was a bit antisocial. I know I was a bit antisocial. I was a lot antisocial, actually. I was a miserable little shit. Didn't really want to speak to anyone. It was my day off. I just wanted to lay in bed, watch some videos, a movie maybe, listen to an audio book and read my book. And that was it. That's all I wanted to do. And I had to be social with family and I really didn't want to do it. Anyway, so why was the week rubbish? And there's a video that you saw back there where I'm with some ponies. I had the night before that incident gone to sleep at half past five-ish. I saw half past five because Alora, my daughter, was really, really poor with her teeth and she couldn't sleep and she was coughing and she was just basically she was awake and panicking and crying and just being a poorly little baby basically and then had to go to work for a whole day. There was no one at home when I was kind of coming home. I didn't fancy coming home to an empty house. So I went to the place where they were, which happened to be this fair, and there were ponies. But after two hours sleep and a whole day's work and no food, because I couldn't eat, because my eating cycle had gotten out of its sink. And yeah, I just didn't feel right to eat. I couldn't eat breakfast, I couldn't eat lunch. And I finally ate about seven o'clock, I think, that day. Today's been quite a good day. I've enjoyed it quite a lot. Excuse me. Today's been quite a good day. I guess at work. I've got a lot done um, in regards to getting the store to how I want it for the time that I'll be managing it, which will be a little while in between um, them finding a new manager, I imagine. Or it being me. I want it how I want it, basically. So I've got to do some organisation to get it into that state and carry on with the good work that I had been doing as an assistant manager 
and just sort of turn the store around, get it moving stock basically, which is the most important thing in a charity shop is to have new stock on the shelves every day. If you're not doing that, you're not running the shop properly. I'd really like to tell you that I've been doing something super exciting, super interesting and super fun, but that would be lying and I haven't. I've just been mostly sort of panicking, I think, because I have to take on the shop's uh, running as soon as possible, basically, and be doing everything for the shop. Not that I can't do it, not that I think it's too much, but it might be a bit too much considering my previous mental states that I've been in. I may be running on a bit of a high at the moment, and I'm now kind of worrying that I'm doing too much, taking too much on again, and I might not be quite ready for it. Because I need to, at the end of the day, earn money for my family. These debts cleared as soon as possible. If I'm on a higher wage, I can do that quicker. It's only positive, really, but I do have to care for my own mental state. I'm not disregarding that. So moving forwards, Bean and I have pretty much made the decision that we're staying in Cornwall. So for you, those of you who didn't know, that's what's happening. I've not been on social media to tell everybody or anything like that because I've not been on social media, you may have noticed. Uh, I've disengaged from it and I'm happier for it. I don't worry about anything as much because I'm not engaged with social media. I would have a look at this video um, of Boy in a Band. He released it actually this morning and, and it talks about internet addiction and internet usage, high internet and the usage among uh, human beings and how it affects them mentally and how it affects them physically uh, so you should go and check that out, there's a link in the description anyway I did not want a passive two-way communication between me and the world via social media the way I choose to connect with the world is actively engaging with people and things and interests so by just sitting on Facebook and scrolling I'm not actively engaging with you I'm not actively interested in your lives and I'm genuinely not interested in your life and it makes me disinterested in anything that you're doing because I already know about it. So I decided to come off of it and just make the video still like I am now and that's just to let you guys know how I'm doing. It's a self-reflective process and the videos allow me that. So basically I haven't done anything of interest well, I haven't taken you anywhere interesting, but I will try and do some more interesting things with a camera with me. Oh, here comes Beanie. She wearing short dress. No, it's shorts. Oh, short shorts and socks. And a Harry Potter hoodie. Nerdgasm. <laughs> um, yeah, so... What am I saying? I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah. So, I haven't videoed very much, and that's just because I've not been in the mood to... I've kind of had this panic on with the stuff that's coming up with the shop, but I'm kind of quietly confident that I can handle it. And you have to active. What I was talking about is actively engaging. Is if you've seen this video to the end, then you'll know the score and know what's going on. And um, thanks for watching. And please hit the like button. I know there's not many people who watch these videos, but if you click that like button, which is the thing that looks like a thumb. You don't have to do anything other than that. This video will get seen by more people. Why they want to see this video, which is really boring, I'm not sure. But anyway, click like. Bye.